Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. I'm here to have a play and I'm going to play with some labels. I'm going to make my own labels and I'm going to use this vintage farm ledger paper as a base. Well, it's not actually vintage farm ledger paper. It's a printout of some vintage farm ledger paper from a book I've got. If you want to use this as well, you can pop over to my Buy Me A Coffee site and you can download this for free. So you can get the same look with your labels that I'm going to get. Or you can just use it as a background for anything. It doesn't have to be labels. But today I'm going to be doing labels because Margaret at Seven Plaza has inspired this one. I saw her do a journal spread where she'd done labels on a similar sort of paper. I think hers were just black and white though, but I've gone with this one today. So let's crack on and I'll show you how I'm going to do it. I've got various stamps out. You don't need the same stamps. Use any stamps you want. In fact, I've got a little technique to show you how you can make a stamp fit even though it's not the right size for your label, shall we say. Right, so this is the paper I'm using. This is just printed on some 160 GSM uh, printer card paper. And I think, oh, I did one double-sided there that I can use in a journal. And I also printed one on a label sheet. I actually did that by accident. So I might give that a whirl as well, because then they're just ready to go, aren't they? You can cut them out, peel and stick. No need for glue. But I honestly, I've never, pr never stamped on that before. The printing seems pretty good. Well, it is label paper, sticker paper, so it should be. But I think I'm going to stick with my um, 160 GSM paper for now that I like. So, pop those to one side. Right, I've got my stamps on the block ready because I've lined them all up. These are label stamps I want to use. These are by Darkroom Door. They're an Australian company. I got mine from Budley Crafts here in the UK. So I don't know where they do sell them in other countries, but yeah, they shouldn't be too difficult to find. I think they are on Amazon, but out of stock at the minute. I'll put that code on just so that you can get all the details from if you're in other countries. And I'll put the Budley Crafts link for people in the UK. Right, so, so we've got the stamps. Now I'm trying out some new ink. Well, I've been messing with it and trying it on other things. I've got some of this VersaFine Claire. I mean, I don't have any big coloured ink pads other than Mitty Malt's Distress Inks. Uh, well, I did. I had some. They were stamping up and they dried up, so I threw them away. They dried up. Yeah, people shouted at me for that. <laughs> I could have tried refreshing them, but to be honest, it was like a Chinese puzzle trying to get the ink pad open. It was like, you know, then wouldn't... Yeah, I couldn't do it. It took me three days to get it open, so I'm getting this a whirl. It's pigment ink, so it is waterproof when dry. So it's ideal if you want to go splashing other stuff on. Whee. And I've inked it up now and I've already, I forgot. I was going to do a bit of stenciling on my paper before I did the inking. But yeah, tell you what, I'll do some stenciling before and some after. So I'll stamp this on one side, then we'll do the stenciling and then I'll do the stamping. Then I'll know whether it's better to stencil first or stamp first, won't I? I don't think it's going to make much difference to be honest. I don't. Right, what I do want to do is uh, I'm going to put it down towards the bottom of this page. Mine is an A4. I have done the digital in both A4 and letter size. So this applies to me with my stamps on A4 paper. I want to get a stamp around that and I'm quite certain that will end up around it if I stamp in this bottom corner first. Try and get it straight, woman. Because you're doing straight labels on all these grid lines. I mean, it might not be straight. <laughs> we'll see. I think it might fall under the remit of straightish. And you all know me. Straightish is good enough for me these days. Right, ooh. I just had to stand up to press on that. Then I kick my chair away. Come back, chair. Right, I'm sat again. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit wonky. I can live with it. It's yeah. Oh, I've just got the carried forward in that label. Yeah, I can live with how wonky that is. Right, next thing I'm gonna do, I've got my Tim Holtz splatter stencil. Now, even if you don't have a splatter stencil, there's a way around this. If you're using the waterproof ink like I did, 
get a tea bag, well anything, get a tea bag, ink, whatever, mix it with a bit of water, splat it around. You can get the rings by popping something circular in the ink and then stamping it onto your paper. I'm not going to do that because it's a bit too messy for my teeny tiny little craft space. <laughs> I'd get I'd get tea on everything. We'd have tea stained everything forever. I'd have to have a good clear off on my desk before I could do that. Right, I'm going to use my brush. I love these brushes. They are makeup brushes. Mine are makeup brushes. I didn't buy the craft brushes. I bought them back when people were just thinking, oh, these might be good for crafts. And craft ones were very expensive, but if you bought them designed for makeup, they were much cheaper. So these are technically makeup brushes. Eee. Yeah, I've had one or two comments after I used these in a recent video about they look much better than the little sponge daubers. One lady said that her sponge daubers tend to fall apart when she runs them through a sten uses them through a stencil like this, and they can do. They can do. Whereas these brushes are pretty good. Maybe you're not supposed to use them as vigorously as I do, but we just haven't got a lot of time, have we? we? Need to crack on. Well, we don't. I'm just a bit heavy handed. Whee. There we go. Now, I hope that's had enough time to dry or I'm going to smudge my ink. If you're unsure, get a heat gun. You can heat set ink quicker with that. So I'm not going to be as vicious on this side. Nah, my green doesn't seem to be. That's fine. Yeah, because that ink is so dark, stenciling after is not even causing me a problem. In fact, to be honest, I can see where I want to stencil a bit better. I may have done a lot of stenciling where I'm not going to have stamping on that side. So with hindsight, would I stencil first or stamp? I really don't know. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Not my forte, eh? making decisions, I'm afraid. I tend to leave them all till last minute. Oh, my stencil moved them, but we're doing grunge, so it doesn't matter. It's not like I'm not going to have a perfect impression. Oh, I like how that's gone as well. Just that forward number's in that round one. Whee! Right. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. What I have also got, one of my favourite stamp sets, these mushrooms, mushrooms, it's that little splatter stamp set, so that's another thing you can do if you don't want to mess. I'm going to use my Distress Oxide for this. We, I wouldn't, well you could, if you, if you didn't want any of this Distress Ink to run, I wouldn't then go in splattering stuff afterwards. Because this is water reactive ink. Let's do a bit there. And this, I'm just going to do a bit on this side randomly. Don't know where. Do, 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 do. You can see how precise you need to be on this, yeah? It's absolutely crucial that you are really precise with your stamping. I mean, I'm joking. In case anybody missed that. <laughs> I think you like, watch me regular. I think you're used to my sense of humour by now, aren't you? I keep going off camera as well, and I'm really sorry. I've got a new phone, and the lens is in a slightly different place, so I have to position things on my desk differently, or I need to move the phone. So, yeah, stay. Right, I'm going to now stamp some more labels on this side, and I'm going to go that way with these. I might just hand cut those words at top. That'll look good. And what colour... I think I used the dark ink. I'm going to use the light one this time. Yeah, we're sticking with green today. I'd get my knickers in a right knot if I tried to mix green and red and stuff like that. Plus, like I said, I don't have many inks that are waterproof. Because I do want waterproof ones. I just do. Whee. I like the nice clear impression you get with these, to be honest. Whee. There were no need to say we there, I'm sorry. Right. Mm, shall I do it that way or the other way? I'll do it, no, I'll do it this way. Because I want to like bottom edge of my stamp up with my paper. I'm just going to come in and do that. You know, because that paper's cocking up, I don't want to get ink on it before I need to. That's better. It's 
crucial that you decide where you're going and press it down once when you're stamping into it or it'll, it'll just be a mess. Right, I hope that's not overlapped but I don't think it has. I'll stand up once again to press. I've slightly gone off camera again, haven't I? You don't need all them noises. Stamping works quite well without them. I assure you. Da da. Oh, I like that. Oh, that one's a bit straighter. I'm quite happy with that one. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to leave that area for now. I'll put this out of way so I don't get in trouble with it. Right. Like I said, this one inspired by Margaret and she did a very a brilliant thing when she was doing her stamping. To make sure she didn't go over the edges, she used a piece of paper. Now, I've got some round labels here and I was thinking, mm, how can I do that? And I measured my labels. Oh, craft a lunch time. Stay, that's my glasses cleaning cloth. You're not needed. Move the trimmer, that's not needed. It's trying to go in and act. Yeah, I measured them. One, that's one and three quarters and that's one and a quarter. So what I've done, the inside, should I say, the white area, not the outer. So I've got my punches that are that size and I've grabbed this piece of backing paper from labels which as you can see is see-through it's see-through enough for me to be able to see where I'm going to stamp so you probably know where I'm going with this uh, I'm just going to grab a bit of scrap paper because it's hard to punch through this kind of stuff sometimes it can be a bit thin and it gets all tangled up in your punch why can us crafters never find scrap paper when we want it? Here we go, that'll do. What's that? Oh, that's that's nice, that. That's <laughs> something boss card. Oh, just, woman, just grab a piece of paper and stop faffing. That'll do, that'll do. Yeah, I'm not keen on that. So I'm going to put that between those. And I'm going to punch a couple of circles. I'll have two of each size here. There we go. If you've never tried to punch something really thin with your punches before, you'll be perhaps thinking, what's she done that for? Because although they're called paper punches, they can be quite awkward for punching actual paper. I think I've used right size punches there, I'm not sure. Oh, that's far too big, isn't it? Oh, that's perfect for that, but that is far too big. Can the woman not measure? So what's that? That's one and a quarter. That's one and three quarters. What you actually need, really need, woman, is your one and a half inch punch, don't you? I'm just going to pause while I grab it. Right, I've got my one and a half inch circle punch now. Silly woman. I think I'll, I'll do it along top. That'll be nice. I don't know why. It just will. Right, one and a half inch. I can't measure. I hope I can stamp back then I can measure. I think, like I say, you probably see where this is going. But what I want to do... Yeah, that's it now. I only want my stamping in that area. I don't want to go over edge at label. And I really, 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 really want it. I'm not going to sing, sorry. <laughs> Are we in frame? Oh, it's, it's driving... I'm driving myself insane not being in frame. Tell you what, I'm just going to make a slight adjustment. Right, I hope that's better. Yes, I'm working where I want to work and you can see it too. Ideal that for when you're making videos. So, I want to use these mushroom stamps, but these labels are far too small for my mushroom stamps. So I'm thinking if I just get a section of the mushroom stamp in these circular areas. Oh God, I will match these up. Yeah, hopefully this is going to work. So I'm going to try with this one first. Yeah, just to be awkward, I'll try with this one in a small circle. Yeah, I just want... Let's see how it works. Right, grab your stamp woman. I'm using my black Versafine ink. I've got something to stamp off on. Whew. Because I don't want it mega, mega black, mega dark. And this ink is really juicy. 
So I've just stamped off once and then I'm going to stamp in this area. Is that even going to fit? Do you know, I don't think that's going to fit. I need to do that big one. Big one. Oh, wrong circle. Yeah. Wee. Oh, wow, I love it. Look at that. That. That's actually worked a little bit better than I was expecting. It would have been too big for even that small circle though, wouldn't it, that stamp? Right, let's stamp off. Whee! Now let's find one that'll fit in that small one. Hmm, I could maybe just have part of that one. Oh, I could. I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm. No, I'll do something else in that. I'll just leave that mushroom one there. Oh. That won't fit. I've also got my field notes stamp set here. I can't show it. <laughs> I'll try and show it you. Da da. Yeah. The backs all need cleaning, so it'll stick to my acetate properly. So do. There you go. Right. What we got? What we got? They're all mixed up. Oh, the broody. I've got this little broody. I'm going to try and get the birdie. <coughs> Excuse me. In there. So ink him up. Just stamp it off lightly once. Bring my circle back. Am I using small one or big one? I'm doing small one for birdie. That's it. Let's get his head in. We don't want no more birdie mishaps, do we? Like in my last video when I covered the birdie with a label. Oh, I love it. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I'm liking this side. I might even go as far as to cut some rectangles out for some of them. That would be an idea. I don't have punches for that. If you've got dies, you could do it, I suppose. It might be a bit of a faff, but it's perfect for these circles, isn't it? What should we put in that other circle? Ooh, I could put... I could put what? What? What could I put? I could put anything I wanted. Ooh. I've got some flutterbys. I've got my stamp box to the side of me so I can mess and far. I could have those. Oh, I could. You know what? I'm going to try putting those three across so that we just see one and part the other two. It might look rubbish. It might not. We shall see, won't we? You don't know until you try. Get this back. I mean, you can use anything for this. Freezer paper tracing paper, vellum. I'm using this side at label backing sheet because it's a little bit more absorbent for this ink. That's it. Right, ink me flutterbys up. Stamp them off once. Oh, that's curling up. That's causing a bit of a problem. This might be a bit dodgy as well because I'm stamping straight across, not with straight lines. Oh, I just headbutt at camera there. Just do it, woman. Either the worker it won't. Oh, I like it. I like it. It's like a little window into what's occurring. I could then put something else underneath and at top. What shall we have? Let's get this. I've got some little numbers and words. You're just going to end up dropping these everywhere, aren't you? Yeah, of course you are. Yeah. How long I've been crafting? Um, about 15 minutes, and it's already a my a mess. I think that one might fit. We've got a smaller one. No, I don't think we have. I'm going to try that one. See what happens. Stamp off. Oh, I like it. I do like that. I think I might leave that as. Oh, I could put some at the top. What could I put at the top? One of these stamp sets has got like a little star in it. Here we go. It's this. It's the eccentric. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Oh, it's actually three stars. Mm. Oh, we could have three stars with butterflies. Yeah, let's try it. Oh. I'm trying to remember to do what Margaret does as well and stamp the ink off after stamping. As, as you can see, I'm forgetting. It just keeps your stamps a bit cleaner, doesn't it? Because I know no, no longer cleaning with baby wipes. Life's too short, isn't it? Choking on my throat, sweet. 
Right, I forgot what stamp I was going to use. That one. Silly woman. Put your ink pad at the same side as where you stamp it. It might, like, help you a little bit. You never know. Oh, it fell off it. It fell off. I do really need to clean these because this is my most used stamps that ever. This field notes. I like that. Yeah, it's quite busy. But, yeah, I, like, I think I like those two better. I think the one stamp... What's it called? Is it a vignette? We'll get a vignette of the stamp? I don't know. I don't even know how to use that word in proper English. But I had a good inter. <laughs> you could even just put one of these. I could have part of that. You know, let's try it with just a... What about that one? Hmm. We've only got one left, haven't we? I don't want anything to... I'm going to use that. Yeah, let's use that. Do you know, sometimes when I've been uh, crafting and used stamps from loads of stamp sets, I actually have to go online and look at the stamp sets to know what to put back with you. Yeah, but hey-ho. I think I want that bit. So I'm going to ink that up, stamp it off once. Grab my bit of paper, circly paper, whatever it's called. Bit of paper with a circle, yeah. Oh, it's already got that one word in. We're going to cover that up now, sorry. That's the wrong circle. Right. I can't quite see how that's placed. I've got so much ink around it. Do you know, if you've got something that cuts through acetate, acetate might be a good thing to use, but I know punches don't cut acetate very well. That's upside down. The stamps, stamping's taking a lot of doing. I've just smudged that everywhere. Wow, but I still like it. I like it. I really do. So that's my round, big round ones done. I could do the same with my little ones, but I, I don't really want to. I could, but I don't want to. <laughs> it's my, it's my piece of paper, my labels, my choice. <laughs> So I can put anything I want wherever I want. I'm liking that strip of three butterflies. I'm hoping would they fit there or there or there? Nope, not quite. Not a caring woman. You could put them on something as part of a bigger design, but we've used it once now, haven't we? There's stamps everywhere now. It's like it's like a stamp graveyard. Oh, I got that out because I'm sh sure we can do one boring one. We can just do one stamp that fits in one label. How simple is that? That looks a bit bent to me. Like it should <laughs> go. Oh well. So I'm going to do it on this one. Oh, <laughs> I told you the, <laughs> the backs of these stamps need cleaning. That one stayed on ink pad and not on the stamp. Let's stamp that off once so it's not going to be too dark. Yeah. Get your stamps cleaned. You clamp it. Wee. There we go. Does anyone remember clamp it? I can't remember what it's... It were a US TV programme. What were they from? Clamp it. But it just became a thing for... A bit scruffy. <laughs> being a bit scruffy, being a clamp it. UK, I don't know if it's... It might just be something more local. I don't... I just don't know. Right, some of these little ones as well. I'm just going to put... Yeah, I'm just going to be boring and put a number on. They don't all have to be fantastic works of art. Not that the others are fantastic works of art. Oh, blow your own trumpet, why don't you? Right, what else we got? I've got in my dark room door set... Right, that came as one big sheet of stamps and I've cut off these. I've cut off the finger. That sounds really wrong, doesn't it? Uh, it's <laughs> the pointy finger. Tim's got a bigger pointy finger than dark room door. Yeah, that's the dark room door finger. It's a bit smaller. And then there's all these that say no. No number. So I might put some no's here and there. I'm still forgetting to clean my stamps off on this card. I'll learn one day. I really will. Right, so I want no on this one. I'm not sure if that's straight. Straight enough. I forgot to stamp off, so it's a bit dark, but... Oh, just 
whatever. I don't want knowing that circle. There we go. And I think I might do something with one of the smaller no's. Which way around is it? We don't want on, do we? we want no. We definitely want no and not on. There we go. Oh, that fit. Yeah, oh, that's cute. Stamp off a bit. Yeah, we've got two, two matching ones. I'm not averse to having things match. I really now think I want to cut a small circle for that and do it like we did these. Because I just really like that. It's my new favourite thing to do with circle uh, stamps. I'm tempted now to cut apart all my stamps so I can just do loads of circles, but that might be a bit ambitious. Two centimetres. Let's measure it in inches, seeing as that's what your stamp, your punch is coming, woman. One inch, but it could need to be three quarter of an inch. Three quarters of an inch. I mean, I do have a large collection of circle punches. I didn't go out and buy them last week. I've been literally, I've been collecting these circle punches for years. Right, is that going to be the right size? Grab this. Let's see if this smaller one will cut without putting a bit of card in, just to make a liar out of me. It's yes. Yeah, can you see what happens? That's what happens when you don't put a bit of card in. That one stamped okay, if this one didn't. Let's try that again with a bit of card in. There we go. So. Oh, that's perfect. What stamp shall I use? I don't really know. I think. I'm just going to use that one. I'm going to try and get that flower head on. Yeah, may work, may not. What do we say? You don't know unless you try. Oh, I think I did it. Oh, I like that. I really like that. I really do like that. I think I might like the whole of that thing in there as well. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, I'm having fun with these, can you tell? But that's really the main idea, isn't it, of crafting? We're having fun. If it's stressful, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Says me. Oh, find a less stressful way of doing it. Right, I want to put a finger on something. Somebody needs... There we go, the finger of doom. I don't know why it's the finger of doom. I've just named it that. And then what can we put after him? Can you tell I've not decided what I'm going to put on these? And I'm going, I'm going to do this. It's just a teeny little text stamp that's illit illit illiterate, illegible. And this is where I got the masking idea from, from Margaret. When she did it to make sure her text only stayed in a certain area. And I'm going to, there you go. I risked it a little bit then because I only masked one side. I like to live on edge me. I like to live life by the seat of my pants. Right, I need another stamp. What's that one? I wish they doesn't. These had not all fallen out. And I could just look at them and pick one. The moral of the story is clean your stamps, woman. Clean your stamps. What we're going to have? Grab this set that actually are still sticky because I haven't used them that much. I want something to put at the side of that finger. Can we use? Hmm. I think I want, I wish that little square was just a square and no, not all, ooh, what's that? Claim check. I like that. You can see I've never used this one out of this set. I always revert to the what's it ones. Yeah, this is the set that, if I didn't know better, I'd say it were fake. It, it's thinner rubber, it's thinner foam, it's just, don't behave as well. Don't behave. My kids sometimes don't behave, but they're not fake. Right. Oh yeah, so, claim check. Yeah, he's just pointing which way to go. There you go, he's been a helpful finger. The finger of help. Right, I'm gonna get a bit random with that one. 
I want this big number three. Oh yeah, that can go on. And then I want an arrow. I don't even know if I've got an arrow, but I want an arrow pointing up. Like I said, I haven't even got a clue if I have one. That one doesn't have arrows on. I don't think the other one has arrows on. I don't even... Oh, I've got a stamp set with an arrow, but it's not the kind of arrow I want. So, am I arrowless? Hmm. I don't have one with an arrow. I could try drawing an arrow on. Oh, what's this one? Oh, I like this one. Oh, this was... um. It's the uh, Stamperia one. It's the... Um, Create Happiness, one of their stamp sets. Hmm, I like them numbers, all random-like. They might have to go on one. I'm just meandering and pondering what to do now, aren't I? Um, let's put the big number three. Does it want to go there or there? I'm going to put the big number three on a completely different label now, just because I can. And I'm even going to put it at that side. Ooh, there we go. I don't know what else I'm going to put on there. Hmm. Oh, I like that. That can go there. That one. I just decided I want that in the co Oh! Tell you what, let's have it there. <laughs> it fell off. Clean your stamps, woman. Because they're causing you problems now. Clean them. That doesn't look too bad. Could look better. I would like that. I could do with some teeny tiny botanical stamps. I don't think I have any. Let's have a look at... Oh, that's the big finger, look. The big finger of doom. Oh, should we have him on some Oh yeah, let's put the big, we've got the little finger of doom. Let's have the big finger of doom. I don't know why he's the finger of doom, he really. Doesn't deserve that title, does he, but. Let's give it him, I like that. His knuckles are a bit pale, but. Maybe he's holding on really tight. He's got white, he's on a white knuckle ride. <laughs> big finger of doom has been on a white knuckle ride. And that's why his knuckles, and I just want that there. That's why his knuckles are white. Let's test that one. Yeah, looks good. Ink it off again, seeing as you inked it up. Oh, I like that. And we need something there, don't we? I somehow think I need something circular hanging off the edge. What about that? Let's try it and see. No, a stamp. A stamp. One of these. Like that stamp, that's what I mean. Yeah, one of them. So I'm going to mask the bottom edge off. With that. Do you know what? I'm going to use a post-it note. What's all that? It's a list. Ooh. Yeah, that's... yeah. Oh, kids are out next door. They must have had the tea. They're having a run around garden before bed, I think, at this time. Uh, yeah. There we go. Oh, I like it. Look. Hmm. That's an interesting label now. I now want to do that again. Because I can. I just want the, the side edge of it on something now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I like something me and I have to do it to death, yeah? Let's do it again. Ooh, that's a good stamp. I want something long and thin for these ones. And I think we've got a lot of long, thin things in here. Ooh, yeah, they might be too long. Return and forwarding postage. Ooh, that's no good, is it? What about this? Identification card stub, will that fit? Come out, mate. We got you. Watch that be too long. Oh, it's just too long. It's a smidgen too long, but it is too long. What else have we got? What about that one? What does that say? Transportation Co. Oh, yeah, that'll fit perfectly. 
can't remember the last time I uh, stamped one of these off. I need to make that become a habit. I need to develop that into a habit. Is that one wobbly? Yeah. We can live with it being a bit wobbly. Right, let's pop that in there. Oh, it's a bit wonky, but we can live with it. Yes, I keep dipping my paper in my ink pad. But there we go. And we've got that one, that one to finish, that one. And whatever. So, I think I'm going to go with... Which one? There it is. I want that 15 cents in something. Yeah, I want that on there. And I want... Hmm, what do I want? I just want to get some more mushrooms in an act. I think I want mushrooms on there. Ooh. Use it that way around, woman. But use the sticky edge. Makes more sense, doesn't it? Get your sticky edge right up to where you want your ink to stop and grab some mushrooms. Oh, I'm going to use that one. There we go. Inky. Ink off a little bit. And there we go. Oh, I love it. So we have got some more mushrooms in an act. I don't know what to put on that one. Let's get this 15 cents inked. Reminds me of that wrapper, 50 cent, but yeah. He's more expensive, isn't he? We can only afford 15 cents. What's that? And I think I just want a postmark stamp off again. Or no, that'd be too that'd be too um I was gonna use this one, but it's too uh yeah, it'd be too dark. I mean no like it. What else have we got? I'm just gonna end up using the same postmark stamp because I can. And don't forget your sticky note. Put that there. In fact, you know what? I'm going to rip that in half. And I'm going to put that there. And then I'm just going to put that there. Oh, yeah. I've got a picture of the sticky note here. And I'm going to put that there. So I don't need to make templates. I can just mask it off with post-it notes. Oh, they do come in handy, then post-it notes, don't they? There we go. Take them off. Take them off. Come off. Oh, the thunk it, they're a bit sticky. Oh, yeah. We like. So, not much left to do now. I'm not going to make you watch me cut all these out on camera either. I'm so not. Honestly, it probably took me half an hour to cut these out. I really want to put them butterflies on. Do you know what? I'm going to do it and I'm going to mask off the top and bottom so that if they don't fit, it'll just it'll not go over onto the outside. So that's that. Get another post-it note, Mrs. Because... Where have I put the old pad? I've lost the old pad of pink, a yellow post-it notes now, so now I've got a pink one. That's that. Uh, get a stamp pad that that fits on. Yeah, I do apologise for life occurring outside. I don't know what's up with kids. We. Oh, that's it. Oh, it fits lovely now, that. Oh, we like. So, who needs finish? That needs finishing. You know the one I dropped the stamp on? We want something there. And I think that needs... Uh, the fig stamps. Fig? I don't give a fig. 
It's not the fig stamps, though, it's the numbers. I want the ones that say fig. I think they fell out of my field notes set somewhere. That's the numbers. Where's the figs? Figaro. Nope. Are they here? No, I think I really, really must clean those stamps. Has this one got figs? You know what I mean? It says fig and then a number. Mm. There's probably someone shouting at screen now saying, there it is, there it is, and I can't see it. But I'll take that one out because I like it. Um, mm. and I like that one that says telephone. It's like, I like those stamps. Now let's find somewhere to put them. I'm reduced to this six inch crafting space now, aren't I? Telephone. No, that don't. Oh, telephone. I've got to put that there. Yeah. I could put that there. There you go. I ended up with more on that one than intended. That were a bit of a snap decision, that weren't it? We can't put no on that again because we've already got no on it once, and I've just noticed this one has no on it. Mm. Here we go. Use that. To use them post-it notes again, woman. Because you don't want no on, but you want everything else on. So stick your post-it note there. And there we go. So we've just got a bigger no on it now, haven't we? Right, is that nearly them all? I think we're nearly done, aren't we? I couldn't do one and then another and move on. I just have to go. I have to jump about and go all over. Hmm. So, I think I'm going to call that. Oh, no, we need something else on there. What about the little stars? Have I lost them? Here we go. Yeah, I'm going to put some little stars on that one. Don't fall off little stars. That just ended up being weird after I dropped stamp on it, didn't it? Oh, who else wants some stars? You can. I don't know why I love them stars, I just do. Oh, that one. That's not got anything on yet. I think we could... No, I can't really fit a mushroom on there, can I? It's a bit late now, ain't it, to be putting mushrooms on there. Could try and put a flower on. Or maybe a single butterfly, I don't know. I get very indecisive sometimes, can you tell? Oh, we're gonna, I wanted the figs, didn't I? And I couldn't find my fig. So I'm going to see whether my numbers fit. If they overlap a little bit, I can just put it down to stamping fatigue. Cause it's my last one. I do intend doing something with those as well. I just don't know what yet. Oh, it fit. Oh, that's perfect. I like it. So, there we have it. Stamping your own labels. And as you can see, it doesn't matter if your stamps are bigger than your labels. With a little bit of paper and a couple of punches, we can make them fit. So, don't remember, if you want this, you can go over to my Buy Me A Coffee site and download it for free. I'll put the link in the description. So... Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.